Hey friends, good to see everybody. Oh, it's been a minute, hasn't it? Tuesday, May 16, almost 11 in the morning. 72 degrees going up to 81. And we are here in New York City, Central Park, standing by the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir. We will not be going there today. You'll find out why as we start moving. We're doing a little bit of a test today, so I don't know how long this will be. But you guys are joining me and the kiddo on a walk today. You are on the stroller. <laughs> uh, so we're trying new stuff. Look at the flowers. Beautiful. Arjun's here. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Preston's here. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Lots of family stuff going on. But we're doing okay. Been trying to figure out new ways to get out a little more frequently, thus today's test. So I have you guys on the stroller. We'll try this out, we'll see how it goes. Could be a great success, could be a massive failure. Diana Lee's here, Marv, welcome, welcome. That thing in the bottom left. <laughs> <laughs> part of the stroller. <laughs> we'll figure out the whole setup and everything at some point. So we're in Central Park, beautiful day, a little bit of sun, only 72 degrees at the moment, but going up to 81. Everton. Finding coming to us all the way from Kenya. Good to see you. But welcome everybody, thanks for being with us, joining this little experimental walk. Prince Ice, Ramona. Let's see, I'm gonna try Yeah, we got mini bagel with us. He tends to be pretty quiet on walks, so that's part of the, part of the experiment. <laughs> so we'll see how today goes. But yeah, we got it's me and the mini bagel, Caleb, doing our one of our little walks today. We are in Central Park. We are on the East Drive. To the right of us is Fifth Avenue. To the left of us is, uh, for a little while longer, the Central Park Reservoir. British Grey, good to see you. Again, sorry we haven't been doing too many videos or live streams lately, just a lot of life going on. But we're doing our best. And I got this little attachment where I could put the phone on the stroller and just see. We'll do a little short walk today. I just want to see how it turns out. You guys let me know your feedback. Obviously, it means I can't be as dynamic with the camera. But I figure a walk is better than no walk. And as we walk along, again, the East Drive, uh, we're probably coming up, let's see, 94th, 95th Street. Lots of flowers here in Central Park. Beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful day here in New York City. There's the weather, weather for New York City, sunny, 
Temperature 71 degrees Fahrenheit, wind blowing eight miles an hour, 27% humidity. It's lovely out. It's good to see everybody. Very busy in the park today. Even though it's 11 a.m., looks like we got some schools and then folks out for their exercise. You doing okay, kiddo? Playing with his toy. <laughs> Hiding from the sun. <laughs> squeak, squeak. Bless you. Org Rock, Nelly. Prince Ice got the family. Oh. Right here's the 97th Street got a tour walk going by us. Bicycle tour. That guy's got quite the speaker system. RJ, welcome. So let me know how the video is coming through. If it's kind of smooth or shaky. Because we're not using the gimbal, we're using the stroller. <laughs> the stroller should be acting a little bit like a gimbal. Hopefully it's kind of smooth. But we're here, beautiful Central Park, not a cloud in the sky today, it's awfully sunny. Kiddos chilling out, enjoying the fresh air, looking at the trees. Ramona, welcome. So around here, we're kind of going north, this 97th Street. To our left, some nice baseball fields. Actually, you know what, why don't we go that way for a little bit. Oh, you going back to sleep, kiddo? You like the shade, don't you? How's that? Is that a little better? always say it's fun to go to the north part of Central Park. There's just relatively fewer people. So you kind of have the place to yourself. <laughs> you playing with your toy, kiddo. My beautiful wife, Lisa wondering where I'm going with her baby. How you doing, Lisa? Doing a nice little walk here. Got the park to ourselves. Brian Davis, George Rucker. If I missed you, welcome anyways.
Lots of testing today. As we roll the stroller around Central Park, take the kiddo for a little walk. Oh, lots of beautiful green, but a lot of the flowers are coming out. <laughs> you talking, kiddo? What are you saying? What are you saying? That was quite an experience for both of us. Yeah, Lisa's busy, busy, but nice to pop in. Thanks for saying hi. What do we have here? Baseball game? Soccer? I'm gonna go with baseball. I'm gonna call that a baseball game. Checking out Carl Schurz Park yesterday. Over city. Hope you had a blast. Mika, hope all is well. So we're headed towards Conservatory Garden, one of my favorite places in Central Park. Go check out some of the flowers. See how they look today. A little bit of a winding road to get there. But yeah, it is so nice out today. Low 70s at the moment, but super sunny. And then later this afternoon, it'll get up to like 80, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. So summer, spring quickly turning into a New York City summer. But then later this week, I think the highs are in the 60s. So it's just one of those fun New York City weeks. Up, down, up, down, never know what to wear. You know, you wake up in the morning, it's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Late afternoon, it's 80. Yeah, we, Mika, we got little kiddos with us. Enjoying the walk, he's looking around. Marzen's here, yeah, it's the first baby carriage <laughs> stream. <laughs> we're, all, we're all taking part in these experiments. Christian Hansen, good to see you, welcome. Uh, just can't get too far into the middle of the park. That's where we hit the real buffer zone. Try to stay closer to Fifth Avenue. But thankfully that's where the garden is. And for those of you who've joined some of our Fifth Avenue walks before, next to the garden is Mount Sinai, part of the, one of the hospitals here. So you do hear sometimes lots of ambulances and stuff. Tom in Vermont, good to see you. Yeah, we got it all to ourselves. 
for the most part. It's not too shabby. Let's see how busy the garden is. It's probably early enough. This can get pretty busy just because of how beautiful it gets. Lots of folks in the know will come to see the flowers. So let's check it out. Oh, we got some, ooh, beautiful. Lots of pictures going on. Yeah, we're starting a new trend in the live streaming community. Bring your baby to work. <laughs> and we'll play around with it. This is just my first crack at this, so. We'll probably try different perspectives and stuff as time goes on. But yeah, this is Conservatory Garden. So we've talked about this before, if you've been on the channel, but it's a series of three formal gardens here in Central Park, really nicely landscaped and designed. This one, we're in the southernmost garden, had been closed for a really long time for renovations, but it's finally reopened, looking beautiful. <laughs> Manny says, Begalito. <laughs> Ollie from Iraq. Oh, Ramona was here a month ago. Yeah, it's so pretty here. A lot of folks who, you know, come to New York City or come to Central Park don't necessarily make it here. A lot of folks don't go to the northern end of Central Park, but I really, really, really recommend it. So let's do some loops in here, check out the different, I guess uh, there must be some engagement photos. Lots of folks dressed up. And lots of gardening going on. Yeah, Brian, the kiddo loves the stroller. Whenever we can't get him to go to sleep, that's the, uh, you know, I guess in other cities, people, you know, they throw the kid in the car drive them around, but we obviously don't do that here. So the stroller is our moving vehicle and it does work pretty well. Manny says, I think the northern end of the park is underrated. It's totally underrated. Harlem Mirror, like if you're into nature or birds, you know, the combination of conservatory garden and Harlem Mirror, like you can't beat it. It's as good as it gets. Marzen asking, any plans for summer travel? Not really yet. It's gonna be really tough to travel with the kiddo, but never say never, we'll figure it out. The good news is um, our fam, we've really lucked out with family coming into town Some beautiful flowers here, my gosh. It's so funny thinking about the northern end. So when uh, Nabul was in town, he came to Central Park and got quite lost in the northern end. <laughs> so the one thing about it is if you get stuck in the, what's called the North Woods, and you're not super familiar with it, <laughs> it's pretty easy to get turned around. Look at this, unbelievable. It is so pretty here. It is so pretty here.
If you're a nature photographer, you gotta come to Conservatory Garden. Unbelievable. And I guess if you need to take your uh, engagement or wedding photos, this would also be a good place to visit. We're on TV, good to see you. <laughs> Hope we don't get lost, yeah. Ramona, follow the bikes. I gotta, I gotta make a t-shirt about that one day. If you learn nothing else, know which direction the bikes are go generally going in. Look at these flowers, unbelievably pretty. So much color, so much color. So one issue <laughs> is the stairs. So I gotta go, I gotta turn around so we can take the uh, ramp. Let's go find the ramp. Uh, should we try it? Let's try left. Let's try left. That is one trick if we do more of these stroller walks. I'm going to have to learn all the paths without stairs. <laughs> no stairs, please. So like I was saying, there's three gardens here. It does look like the northern one still they're doing some work. So the southernmost that we were just inside, oh, okay. they had been working on for a really long time. Looks like they're working on the northern one now. Oh, we're gonna get good shots of the happy couple. Beautiful, so really enjoying nature. Prince I says Minnie might replay this stream one day. I would love that. Knowing he was hanging out with his daddy O. And I'm always curious how much of his time in the park he's going to remember. We don't have a uh, traditional backyard, but we do have Central Park. So this is the probably best feature of the Central Garden. Really beautiful fountain. And to our left, a kind of overlook. Mr. Ambrose, always good to see you, pal. Hope you're doing well. Doing a little family outing, me and the kiddo. Welcome to Stroller Cam. Oh, it's so nice here. And it's kind of funny, again, we're in Central Park, which is already, of course, very beautiful, very peaceful, but since so few people tend to come here, you just grab a bench and it's wonderfully relaxing. In fact, this is where I took the misses for Mother's Day. Lisa's first Mother's Day, so everybody wish Lisa 
happy Mother's Day. And obviously to all the mothers out there, wishing you a happy Mother's Day. Oh, Brian Davis with the $5 super chat. Ice cream for the kiddo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Five times over. Kiddo thanks you as well. So let's see, since that side is closed, let me go, let me turn around and let's see, let's see if there's anything we can see. And then we might, uh, maybe we'll go walk by Harlem Mirror, see the water, see the birds. Lots of kiddos in the park today. Everybody getting their walks. Oh, the whole thing looks pretty closed off. That's too bad. This northern garden sometimes has the most colorful flowers, but looks like they're doing a fair bit of work in there. They got the big machines. So we'll have to try again another day. Ron TV wants to go where uh, Nabul got lost. <laughs> so in the interest of keeping our signal going, I think we will stick to as close to Fifth Avenue as we can. Lots of stairs, as I said. So there's certain places that are a little tricky for us to go to. But I'll try to get you some good views. Oh, the ducks are going by. Oh, and a squirrel, squirrel. All right, let's go around the mirror a little bit. And we have, uh, our scintillating conversation has put the kiddo to sleep. <laughs> he is out like a light. Oh, it is so pretty over here. Lots of benches, lots of wildlife. Got the water nearby, of course. Got playgrounds. Across the water, the building is the Adventure Center. So they do a lot of family activities over there. And for those of you who joined us, that's where we went to the Central Park Christmas tree lighting. Let me show you the Adventure Center. see right there in the middle Lots of pups. Oh, it's so nice here today. But all the flowers really came out in Central Park. So we lost the cherry blossoms. Those come and go so quickly. 
So those are gone, but in their place, beautiful flowers have come out. Sorry. So in the northern part of Central Park, there is, there used to be a swimming pool. That's currently under repair, renovation work. So that's closed right now. And you can sort of see in the distance that the western half of the mirror is kind of blocked off. So that's where they're doing lots of construction. And if you follow us on Instagram, same name, Bagels and Walks, that's where I sometimes post pictures of note from here in New York City. And for example, when I find a good picture of Flacco the owl, I'll post that. He likes to hang out over there in the western part, northwestern corner of Central Park. And there's all this, it's so funny. He's, you know, wild animal, he's an owl. But every now and then, he'll go hang out on some of the big construction equipment over there. So you get these really funny New York City pictures, you know, wild animal on top of a multi-ton caterpillar. It's pretty funny. So let's head out of the park and onto Fifth Avenue. This, by the way, a lot of the corners have names, right? So the southeast corner of the park, you might know as Grand Army Plaza. The southwest corner, Columbus Circle. This corner has a name as well, and it's Duke Ellington Circle. And it's a little hard to see, but right there, is a statue and you can sort of see the piano but it's a statue of duke ellington by his piano the last corner northwest corner of the park is frederick Douglass. we go there from time to time really beautiful now we're walking on fifth avenue We're on TVs enjoying the uh, soothing soundscape of New York City. Yeah, I've noticed there's been a lot of sirens lately. I don't know what it's about. The most recent one, when uh, Biden was in town, they shut down. So I guess what happens was I, he must have flown into JFK he took a helicopter from JFK to, uh, there's a heliport at, like near the South Street Seaport. It's kind of near, if you know where you'd get the ferry for Governor's Island, it's kind of around there. They put him in a limo and took him from Lower Manhattan up the FDR. And I guess he was going to Fifth Avenue, I think. And so they drove him across 96th Street. In order to drive him across 96th Street, the NYPD blocked every intersection from the FDR to Fifth Avenue for like half an hour. It was really crazy. So we started to hear sirens. <laughs> and like, we hear sirens all the time. It's New York City. But after like 10 minutes, we were like, why aren't the sirens stopping? <laughs> so I actually ran down and I tried to run to 96th Street to get video of the motorcade. And I got there 15 seconds too late. So the only vehicles I got 
I didn't get the limo. I got video of like the ambulances. You know, when he's in a motorcade, it's like, I don't know, it's 20, 25 cars. It's really crazy. But I only got the uh, support vehicles. It was not the most entertaining video I've ever made. Mika back home with the 12 euro super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 12 times over. Thank you for showing beautiful part of Central Park. Oh, it's my pleasure. Once I can get back into the park, I'll try to do that because I'm guessing this is a little bumpy for you guys. We'll try to go back into the park at some point. Get back on the smooth pathway of the East Drive, more of the flowers. Brian says, oh my God, the traffic. Well, it's funny. <laughs> this isn't even that bad. If you come to Fifth Avenue in the afternoon, like let's say after 4 p.m., you can walk faster than the cars. It's the funniest thing. Oh, not bumpy? Okay. We'll take it. Then we'll stick on this for a little bit so you get at least a strong signal. So no gimbal today. The stroller, the stroller is our stabilizer. <laughs> and I'll work on the placement of the camera and stuff because we'll probably have to do more of this. Lisa and my schedules just got super uh, complicated. So we will probably do more stroller walks if you guys are amenable. But it really was crazy, the logistics of moving the president around. Unbelievably complicated. So it's funny, if you do come to Conservatory Garden, this is kind of the main entrance. And it's stairs, so we actually couldn't get in this entrance. You'd have to go either to the north end or the south end, find one of the paths. Oh yeah, Brian, it was crazy. So they blocked off all of 96th Street, you know, so that no cars would, you know, basically, let's say like, must have been 20 to 30 minutes before he was gonna arrive. And 96th Street is like a pretty, it's, it's you know, if, you, if you're familiar with New York City, you know, there's 96, there's 72nd, there's 59th, there's like certain roads that are major. And so for 30 minutes, imagine cutting off all traffic. And so all the cars backed up and everybody's honking because they don't, you know, nobody, I guess, knew what was happening. And this was, it was like, it was like three or four in the afternoon. So, it, you know, it wasn't like a dead time. It was like a real busy time. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. But I was too slow to get out there. I should have camped out. I would have loved to get video of the motorcade because we would have been right there. So next time I'll try to be a little quicker on the draw. 103rd Street. So this is basically where we entered the garden when we were inside the park. Ambrose says, scary if an ambulance follows the president around. So there were two, there were two. Like they, it's a real big production. I saw, you know, they have multiple, you know, he has his whole entourage, right? So 
you know, there's all these vehicles of him and his staff. And then I assume some of the vans have press who follow him around. And then there's all these vehicles that are full of, uh, what's the best way to say this? You know, his protection, right? <laughs> so there's all these folks who look like they're ready to rumble. <laughs> and then, you know, there's all this, you know, there's a couple ambulances and then tons of police. So they had motorcycles going before and after, they have police cars before and after. It's a whole production. And there's helicopters overhead. It's like, it's crazy for one person. Scott says, supposed to cool off tonight? Oh, I can't wait. I really, I'm enjoying, you know, we're doing a lot of outdoor stuff with the kiddo. But when it gets to be, you know, 80 plus degrees, it gets a little unnerving. I mean, obviously people in the south and other parts of the world that get super hot learn to deal with it, but it's just very nerve wracking. It's all new to me and I want him to be comfortable, obviously. So what we'll probably end up doing is sort of like today, where today it was gonna to go up to 80, 81 degrees, but we'll try to go as early as we can before that happens. You know, so we might be doing kind of, we might start to encroach a little bit on Gabe's territory, 7, 8 a.m. Before things get too hot. Because I wanna, just been life getting in the way and then New York City summer. So walking by some of the Mount Sinai facilities over here. One of the good New York City hospital systems. New York has a lot of hospitals. Northwell's big one. What's the one that starts with Cornell? New York Presbyterian. All right, let's head back into the park a little. Uh, let's enjoy some of the greenery one more time. Ron asks, are we gonna do the pigeon and lion sounds? <laughs> There's certain things I will never take from Gabe. The sounds I would say Gabe owns the copyright on those sounds. Yeah, Ambrose goes running super early. I mean, it's tough, I, you know. We have like one or two weeks of the most beautiful spring imaginable. And then it ends up being, you know, 95 degrees. The funniest thing in New York City, of course, if you're really familiar with it, is the subway system, because there's no air conditioning. There is on the trains, but I mean on the platforms. And so I, I think the one that probably most comes to people's mind is Union Square. If it's you know 100 degrees outside, all the heat from the trains just gets amplified. And so they've measured it in there, it can be I think it's been like 110, 115 degrees in there. And what's really scary is, you know, then eventually somebody passes out and it becomes a whole safety issue. 
Long-winded way of saying, stay cool, San Francisco. Central Park is the calm in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the city. If the sign says it, it must be true. Hey, Colleen, good to see you. AC, welcome, welcome. Ooh, I see stairs. How do I get around? <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah, to the left. There's a ramp. I was looking at the people with the stroller, thought if they did it, I should be able to too. <laughs> There's a ramp. Scott says the Nathan's prices are too high. What are they running now? What's a Nathan's hot dog go for these days? We're back. Back to the East Drive. So just ahead of us and to our right now, kind of where we started. That is the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir. Underscore enjoying the view. Hey, it's my pleasure. We love getting out for everybody. It's always fun hearing, you know, kind of why people like to watch. There's a lot of New Yorkers, you know, who just want to share in the city. People who like to visit or want to visit one day. But there's a lot of folks who, you know, have some difficulty getting out and about. And it's a real high honor you know, to get to explore on behalf of somebody. Basic dog, 325, fully loaded, at least 550. Oof. Gonna have to go to Papaya King. Get the, what did they used to call it? The uh, recession special. I always love their advertising. Show you guys the flowers again. Look how pretty that is. Gregory says, has Caleb been to the zoo yet? No, not yet. That's on the to-do list. Now that he's a little bigger, it, we can be out for longer. He can now go, you know, depending on the temperature, of course, and mom and dad's comfort levels. We can now go, you know, kind of a few hours. Not too much problem, I think. So we'll be doing that sometime this summer. Ron TV says, I'm here just in case we get lost like Nabul. <laughs> that will always be one of the, uh, one of the funniest streams in recent memory. One uh, tip though, because we've seen the poles, right? So if you look at the light poles, they'll usually have four digits and the first two tell you what um, street you're next to. And then sometimes they'll have a, an E or a W, meaning you're on the east side of the park or the west side of the park. And then, you know, if you're really familiar with New York, you look for the tall buildings and if you're here long enough, you have a sense of, is that a Fifth Avenue building or is that a Central Park West building? On the West, you, you, know, you have the El Dorado, you have the San Remo, the Twin Tower buildings that are kind of very recognizable. 
But one tip uh, that some of you might find handy is if you have an Apple Watch, and this may be true of other devices as well, but I know it's true of the Apple Watch, is it has a compass app. So you should familiar, familiarize yourself with the icon so you know where it is. But it has a compass app. <laughs> so if you wear an Apple Watch, it should be able to tell you what direction you're going in. George is here, says this is fantastic. It's bizarre that it's in New York. Everywhere else, it looks incredibly busy and hectic, but everyone in the park looks like they're living their dream. Well, this is why we come to the park a lot. It is my uh, respite from the crazy New York City. And if you watch our channel, you probably also know that we do a lot of like, we do a lot of avenue walks. One, because I like to walk a lot, like long distances. Um, but you probably notice we do like a lot of Park Avenue, for example, and it's because it's just compared to some of the other streets, not as crazy, not as crazy. No, they're still here, so yeah, they yeah. But yeah, this has been fun. So we're going to end up a little bit up ahead. Not our longest stream ever, but this was a little bit of a test, about an hour. Seems like the stroller worked okay. Pretty smooth view, according to you guys. So in the coming days, we'll probably try to do more of these. I still don't have a set schedule, so that's, that's the one tricky thing. I know I, I feel like one thing that kind of holds the channel back is that we've never been terribly reliable with the schedule. So I'm thinking about that and hopefully one day we'll figure that out. But in the meantime, we're back. The stroller cam seems to work, so we'll try to do more of this in the coming days. Probably means you'll uh, mostly be seeing <laughs> the Upper East Side of Manhattan because that's just kind of our, our neighborhood. But hopefully we'll figure out some good views and nonetheless, it's always fun to get the community together chat and hang out with everybody. Uh, Gregory loved when we walked the length of Broadway. Yeah, that was, uh, if, you, if you have the, uh, I know not everybody can do that, but if you can, and it's of any interest to you, I so recommend it. It is the best, you'll see all of New York City. You can do it in half a day you know, which I get is a big commitment, but it's so much fun. And it, you do get this incredible sense of accomplishment afterwards. But we had our friend Marzen on who did the great Manhattan Bridges Walk and then did almost the entire Great Saunter, which is a uh, walk around the perimeter of New York City. So I'm hoping to do both of those one day. And if you haven't yet, definitely check out Marzen's channel. It's got these great videos of both of those walks. AC enjoys the, the surprise pop-ups. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. So I think what we'll do is we will go a little bit We'll basically go to the Great Lawn. So I think we'll be gone for like 10 more minutes. I'll get you guys a nice view of Central Park South and then I'll call it a day because I'm going to get this kiddo home. He's been a trooper. We're on TV hoping we'll do a collab with Gabe. Yeah, no, I would really, really, really love that. Two guys with young kids, it's a little tough, but hopefully one, one day we'll make that happen.
more often than not, I've, uh, I've run into uh, Dutch Maas a few times. He and I, we are, uh, it's so funny, we're sometimes, our, our brain waves are, it's like they're synced up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang a left here and get on the sidewalk just where there's a little less, uh, it's so sunny. Let's get some shade. I could use some shade. Let's take the shady path. Yeah. So Gregory Princey is mentioning kind of how with the Broadway walk, you see all the different neighborhoods and how they change. I mean, that's part of why it's so interesting. It's funny in New York, you know, you go four blocks and even within a neighborhood, it can feel very different. But when you do a long avenue, it's really stark. But what's fun is, you know, every neighborhood has its charm. The only thing I wish I could share with you guys is not all the time, <laughs> but some of the time I wish I could share some of the smells. Let's just say when it gets really hot, like 100 degrees, there's certain smells, you're probably very happy I'm not, I'm not sharing. <laughs> Oh, when you're in the shade, it is so perfect. 70 degrees, nice little breeze. It's as good as it gets. Like I was saying, there's like one or two weeks when New York City is just sheer perfection. And this is one of those weeks. The weekend was like 10 out of 10, you know, highs of 72. 74 or something like that not too cloudy not too sunny just like sheer perfection Letta, hey thanks for being with us gregory asking what does the park smell like today so uh, you can probably see a lot of stuff is coming out of the trees you know, so the, the blossoms of a month ago are all coming down. So I will say if you have seasonal allergies, it smells beautiful here. Like it smells kind of floral and uh, what's the right word? Herbaceous, I don't know. It, very nice plant smells here today. But if you have seasonal allergies, I think you'd be going crazy. I think you'd be going crazy. That's why when we, uh, you've probably noticed from time to time when we go by people, it's a lot of sneezing, a lot of sneezing. Sebastian says it normally smells metallic or oily. Yeah, I mean, when you're on Fifth Avenue specifically, when the cars are just sitting there, it just smells like car traffic. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get back into the park. Park is as good as it gets. Darlene, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Stroller Cam. Hey, Leela, good to see you. Sassy Lassie enjoying the ride. Ashley, welcome. 
Good to see all of our friendly friends. We're coming to the end. We're going to go up to the Great Lawn. I want to give you guys one last really good view. But today was a little bit of a test. We've got the kiddo with us. This is our first, uh, I guess it's our second ever walk with the kiddo. And I don't want to push my luck. So shorter one today, a little bit of a test, a little bit of an experiment. Trying out stroller cam version 1.0. So far seems fairly successful. Kiddo's done an amazing job. He fell asleep, I don't know, maybe half an hour in. Oh, beautiful breeze just came by. It feels so good. So we're coming up. We're going to make a right. That'll take us to the Great Lawn. If we were to make a left, that would take us to the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So we're right here at, what is it, uh, 84th Street? Hey, Nabul, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And follow the bikes. <laughs> Nabul, I was saying we got a collab on a t shirt. Follow the bikes. So if you follow us on Instagram, same name, Bagels and Walks, I posted a couple pictures yesterday. First, I was walking the kiddo. We walked by Delacorte Theater. That's where they do things like Shakespeare in the Park. And they were putting one of the sets together. And I was like, well, I'll let you see the picture. It's really funny. And then, of course, we went to Turtle Pond, which has been home to all these amazing birds. And yesterday was no exception. So if you want to see some of our photography or some of our candid pictures, make sure you're following us on Instagram. So even though some days we're not always uh, busy on YouTube, I do try to keep that up to date. So this is it. This is the Great Lawn. We're going to go around the corner and I'll show you guys a beautiful view of Central Park South to close out today's walk. I want to give a big thank you to everybody. This has been super fun. Hey, Diz Jake, welcome, welcome. Leela says, how did we hook up the gimbal to the stroller? So we're not actually on the gimbal today. The uh, stroller is the stabilizer today. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll share a picture of what I did later, but there's a company that I like called Small Rig. And they sell all these uh, camera accessories. And the one I got is a clamp. So there's a clamp on one side that I can clamp onto anything. And today, of course, is the stroller. And then on the other side of it is like a I just uh, screwed it into a uh,
and it seems to have worked out pretty well. I was curious how bumpy it would be and everything, but you guys said it's been pretty smooth. So no gimbal today. The stroller was the gimbal. All right, my friends, this has been super fun. Big shout out to everybody for hanging on out. Had a couple of incredibly generous super chats. Brian Davis, Micah back home. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for those. Everybody for joining, everybody for chatting. Our beautiful mods, thanks for being with us. And thanks everybody for indulging this little experiment. It sounds like it went okay. I'll kind of play around with the clamp and everything so that we can maybe... It's Ashley's birthday, 28 years old. Well, happy birthday, Ashley. This has been a big birthday month, I've noticed. So big shout out to all the May birthdays. Everybody who uh, joined, thanks for doing that. I know we haven't been the most reliable channel in recent weeks. Life is just getting a little crazy, but that's why I wanted to try this out. Sounds like it worked okay. So I think you'll see a little more of us. This, this will help make it, you know, I try to do a walk almost every day with the kiddo. So I don't know that we'll stream every day, but this will help a lot getting, uh, getting out a little more frequently. So again, big shout out to everybody. Thanks for hanging on out. Hope you guys enjoyed the views here in Central Park. And we'll be doing this again sometime soon. So from here, from me, and from Caleb, who is just beginning to wake up because he's upset that we stopped moving, aren't you? You liked it when we were moving. <laughs> we'll be moving again, kiddo. All right, take care, everybody.